when you're having people over for a big game like the one that's coming up, I think not only do you want a lot of different hummuses and different dips people can choose, but you also want a really decadent, hot, cheesy dip because everyone loves one of those. But I don't like just the normal mundane ones that we are all used to. I like to, of course, mix it up and make something a little bit fresher and new and amazing. That is why this hot, cheesy squash dip is my new all-time favorite. And you are gonna see why too, because it is amazing. It's one of those things where when I took the first bite, Seriously, I was hooked. I mean, at first I was like, okay, is this gonna be good? I was trying different things, putting it together, and oh my goodness, it is one of my favorite go-tos now. It is all done in one small skillet. Throw it in the oven, let it all melt together, and you are ready to go. To start, you just wanna make sure you have a small skillet. I am, of course, using a cast iron skillet because I happen to have one in, of course, every size. I love these but any oven safe skillet is great to use. So make sure it is oven safe. That means the handle will not melt. So make sure to check this, but any of those are gonna work great. To start, we're just gonna mince a little bit of onion. You wanna make sure to mince this fairly fine because you don't want any huge chunks of onion when you're dipping into this cheese. So after that's minced, just put your skillet over medium to medium high heat and put some olive oil into it. Swirl it around just to make sure it's coating everything. And then once it's kind of warm, just add in your onion. It is gonna sizzle away and just start to saute. You don't wanna overly brown it, just saute and let it soften. Once the onion is fairly softened, you can just throw in some minced garlic. You do wanna fairly finely mince it just so it evenly distributes and doesn't have any big chunks. Once that's in there, just stir it around and make sure they're evenly softening. And then once they are, you can just add your squash. Now I'm doing something a little bit weird here with the squash. After I peel it, I am going to grate it. Um, excuse me, this isn't cheese. Why am I grating it? Okay, I know it seems odd and as you're grating it, it kind of looks like cheese, but it does not taste like cheese. This is actually gonna help it cook really quickly. Other times, you know, if you cut it in big chunks, it really takes a long time for squash to cook because it's so dense. Well, grating it really breaks it down and it will saute so quickly. Also, when the cheese melts with it, it is the perfect texture and size to just dip up and scoop up. So grating it is the perfect alternative. Now that I've realized this, I'm probably gonna start grating it for quite a few things. I mean, hello, what couldn't you use grated squash for? Once you have that grated, you can just throw it into your softened and sauteed garlic and onion, and then stir it around. Add some salt, and then pepper, and then just keep stirring it until it starts to soften. I know at first it's gonna look like quite a bit of squash, but as you can see, it really starts to cook down when it loses that moisture. Once it is cooked down and softened, and honestly, the best way to know is just to try some. Pop some in your mouth and it is soft and there isn't resistance or it's not crunchy, you are ready to go. Pull it off the heat and then we can just finish it up. So the cheese part of this, which is one of the best parts, is so delicious. I'm using three of my favorite cheeses. First is some goat cheese. Now I know some of you may not like goat cheese. What I like about it is it definitely has a little bit of a tang, has a little bit of that earthy, grassy flavor to it and it really does melt so deliciously with this. If you don't like goat cheese, you could use cream cheese or some like mascarpone cheese. That's also gonna do well and not quite have the strong flavor. For the goat cheese, it's already so soft, I'm just kind of crumbling it up and throwing it right into the skillet. Next is one of the best melting cheeses of all time, Fontina. Fontina is traditionally used in any fondue and um, who doesn't like fondue? Because if you're like me, you love it. I mean, come on, melted cheese, dipping anything in it. I mean, ah, who doesn't love that? Fontina is great because it melts so easily and it has a great flavor. With the Fontina, I am just cutting it into large squares. It's gonna melt in the oven, but to help it melt and distribute evenly, I am cutting it in smaller squares and then throwing it in. And then I'm finishing with a good sharp white cheddar. 
cheddar has a really good distinctive flavor and it melts a little bit slower than the other two so it adds a great texture. Once that's chunked up, I throw that in there. And then I just wanna finish this off with a little bit of herbs. Some fresh chives, and yes, they are different than onion. They have a much lighter note and they add a great fresh flavor. And then some thyme. For the thyme, I do not pick off every leaf. I just take the ends of the thyme that are really tender anyway and chop them up really finely. That is gonna be perfect. Do not take off every leaf or you will be there forever. Mince that up and then add that too to the skillet and then just stir it all together. Um, I love that this is all done just in a small skillet and there are no other dishes really to do, so this is the perfect thing when you're getting ready for a whole appetizer game day party. Once you have it all stirred together, you can just put it into your preheated oven and then in 10 to 15 minutes, you have this melted cheese and squash goodness. Honestly, when you're eating it, most people probably won't even realize there's squash in it. I think it adds some good flavor, but honestly, it melts together with the cheese and it really just seems like it's extra cheese. So really, in a sense, you're almost being healthier. So let's call this a healthy cheese dip. Not really, but it really is delicious. To serve it, I love to serve it with some good slices of baguette or your favorite crackers or pita chips. Finish it off with a little bit of garnish of some of those fresh chives and thyme again, and you are ready to go. This really is a showstopper and everyone is gonna love it. it. Has great flavor and it is gonna be something different on your game day spread. Hope you like this video. Leave a comment, click like, and make sure you subscribe to the Gray Boxwood. Happy game day.